Hey, Lauren Hughes here. Thanks for joining me. We are doing one of our final, final walkthroughs before we close on this property, the investment property, in the next couple of days. Actually, 42 hours to be precise. There's a little bit more work that I was hoping, but come, come follow me and I'll show you the things that I'm look for when I close a new construction house. These are things that your realtor should be looking for, but sometimes you don't know what you don't know. So come join me and let me show you my sticking points today. All right, I just walked out the front door. It looks like they still have some power washing to do to get all of that extra construc construction junk gone. Um, and it is good to make sure you look because there's about a million and 25 things a builder has to do. So sometimes they just forget. I was also told recently that this is actually up to code because it is Canadian white oak something. So it's not gonna be painted like the neighbors, which I was hoping for, but I think I'm going to get around that by painting it clear uh, once I actually take possession of the house. So we walk through the front door. I mean, everything's looking good. I was just hoping the white or the blue tape would be addressed a little bit faster than it was. Um, but right there, we did this last week actually, where we went through with the blue tape, which is you usually have multiple reiterations of the blue tape. Uh, which is what we did. And I've been very happy with the foreman and the builder, quite honestly. They've been very receptive and they do have an eye for detail, which is nice. And I can't say that's true for all builders. So I've been very happy with Remington Homes and the people we have worked with in particular. So I'm looking for things like this that still need to be fixed. So we're talking like micro issues and a lot of it goes down to like the floorboards like I didn't like how this wall looked you can kind of see it behind me we're like micro right here with the micro issues so let me see bathroom's looking pretty good let's go up to the first floor but you can still see there's lots of blue lots of arrows and we have got 42 hours, ladies and gentlemen, so they have a good bit of work to do, but the team is actually upstairs right now working on all these items. So let's go to the next level. Actually, I lied, so let's go to the staircase. So this is one of the items that I was pretty concerned about too, is I honestly, I just thought it was sloppy. Uh, over here, you can kind of see where they drilled the holes and they probably just did one drill bit instead of uh, working their way up with smaller ones that would have reduced the the holes or the chipping, which you can kind of see over here. Um, looks like they are addressing it, but this, this is not good yet. So these are the kind of the micro details that you want to look for when you buy a new construction home and you want to have representation that knows to look, look just a little deeper because that, that's just sloppy. So now we're going upstairs to the main level. I'm glad they fixed this door, which they did a good job fixing that, sanded it appropriately. Let's see, they still have to paint the kitchen. Kitchen's a different color. And they have a good bit of work on this beam still. But what they have worked on was some of the I call a lot of things sloppy, it was this fireplace were the corners. So they did adjust a lot of the corners so that it just came off a little bit cleaner, which is looking really nice. All right, so I'm also checking out the floorboards. I don't like the vent colors but I'm gonna deal with that after the fact. I think I'm just gonna paint them the same color as the floor, um, but that'll be done after closing. So some things aren't the builder's problem and they're just kind of aesthetic things, which I just don't like those floor grades. Something that I am looking at, you can kind of see the, the floor isn't completely even, which it's few and far between you're gonna get a house that's completely level, but there's probably a quarter of a centimeter, maybe an eighth of a centimeter off over here that I would love to have addressed. But once again, we're talking like minute details. 
So yeah, you can see the beam from the other side, the lighting's a little bit better. You can see that that just needs to be repainted, which they're doing right now. So let's go on upstairs. All right, walked upstairs and now I'm in the master. You can see they are here actively working, which is wonderful. So we have much less blue tape up here. Everything's looking really good. The outside does need to be power washed, but that's, they'll get that done. Just all these fine details at the very end. Also get this cleaned up a little bit just with the construction trash and whatnot. All right. Walls are looking good. I think everything that's there has been addressed. Yep, just minor, minor tweaks. Actually over here, let me see. I did want them to do something about the um, irrigation or the, there we go. They did paint this, which is nice. That's actually access to the, the sprinkler system, which hopefully will never need to be used. Everything's looking really good in the laundry room looks great. Just some mi minor, like minor touch-ups right there. Bathrooms look good. Those were just painted, so I'm not gonna walk in. And then the two spare bedrooms are looking good too. Just very final, final touch-ups. All right, thanks for joining me on the almost final walkthrough, T minus 42 hours. I'm gonna be back tomorrow, and then probably tomorrow evening, and then again in the AM when we have the official final walkthrough and closing. So we wanna make sure all of these items are done and everything I'm referring to, it can be done really fast. These are like micro issues. Anything bigger, we've already addressed in the videos in the months preceding, so all of this is like there's a lot here, but they're all really little and can be fixed really fast. But the key to that is having an agent or being at your property frequently enough or working with someone that does know what to look for and knows how long things take to fix and if they are fixable, just like the outside, I consider it exposed wood and unfinished. However, according to code, it's okay. So I'm just gonna put a clear coat on after I close on the house. So it's stuff like that. Sometimes builder does it, sometimes they don't, but it's good to know your options and when to ask. So thanks guys for tuning in. We're almost there.